Hi guys, it's Kylie, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show y'all how to do my dog bear tie calves. Here you can see the picture of, this is my little dog Penny, she's the model, and here it is, finished, and see it's got the ties, so if it's better than just a regular round cow that doesn't have any ties or that's just one piece, because you can tie it so it adjusts for kind of different size heads, which I think works better. And so I've written the pattern, and there's five sizes. There's extra small, there's extra large. And there's a size chart on the pattern. The pattern is available for free on my blog. If y'all would like just to check it out there. And if y'all want a PDF pattern like I have here, y'all can find that at my Etsy shop. And I'll be sure to put all those links below so y'all can find them easily. So um, my dog, she is a small 15 pound dog. She has a, I think it was a 11 inch head. So I made the small for her. And so I'll show you how to do that real quick. I used um, Vanna's Choice in the colors Silver Heather. For the extra small, small, medium and large, it takes one skinny yarn. And for the um, extra large, two skeins. So you need that and a size 5 millimeter and H hook. So to go ahead and get started, um, I've written the pattern. I've told you down here in the pattern how I've written it with the sizes. Extra small here in front of the parentheses, then small, medium, large, XL. So, and if you need to, um, if you get the PDF version, you, to, you could get a highlighter and highlight the size you're making so you don't get lost as you're going along. So like here, you know, there's your extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And so on throughout the pattern. And like I said, sometimes it helps if you do get a highlighter. If you go ahead and get the PDF version and you can um, just mark your size. So you look, if you look up, you don't get lost when you look back down. So to start, like I said, I'm going to be making a size small. So... Remember that as I go through the video. So to start, I'm at slip knot and I'm going to chain six. And then I'm going to half double crochet in the third chain from my hook. And each chain across. And that will give me a total of four stitches for my size small. We can look, there'll be one, two, three, four stitches. Row two, I'm going to chain two, I'm going to turn. I'm going to two half double crochet in the first stitch. And then we'll half double crochet in each stitch across until I get to the last stitch. And then we'll half double crochet two in the last stitch. So now I'll repeat row two until I have 16 stitches. So doing it once gives me six stitches and I'm going to keep going back and forth repeating row two until I have 16 or until the number says on the pattern however many stitches you're supposed to have. So repeat row two, chain two, turn, Two half double crochet in the first stitch, half double cross crochet in each stitch across until you get to the last stitch, and you're going to put two more half double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, and you're just going to keep repeating row two until you get the amount of stitches you need, and I'll meet up with y'all when I get there. Okay, I now have 16 stitches across, which is for my size what I need, for the size small. So we're going to go ahead and go on to row three, which is chain two, turn, and you're just simply going to half double crochet in each stitch across. And we'll, we will continue to do row three of chain two, turn, and half double crochet in each stitch. 
You'll continue that until your piece measures for the small, it needs to measure six inches, and it needs to measure six inches going this way from the very beginning row to here. So you measure from the beginning row out the whole piece till we get to for the smallest will be six inches. So I will continue row three and when I get here I will meet up with y'all guys again. Okay so now that my piece measures six inches from the beginning to where I'm now we will now start row four which is chain two turn and we're going to half double crochet two stitches together. And then we will half double crochet and each chain across until you get to the last two stitches. And when you get to the last two stitches, you will half double crochet two together again. And you will keep on repeating row four until you have four stitches left. So we'll do it once more. Chain two, turn, half double crochet two together. Half double crochet across in each stitch until the last two stitches. And now you're going to half double crochet two together in those last two stitches. And that's how you're going to do that. You're going to continue row four until you have only four stitches left. And I'll get back with y'all there when I get there. So I now only have four stitches left. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my yarn. You can cut your yarn and go ahead and weave your ends in. Okay, so now that we've cut our yarn and weaved our ends in, we're going to start on the ears. Okay, so now we're going to do the um, ears. We'll start on the ears. There are different sizes of ears for the different sizes of cows, but they all work up the same, pretty much the same, follow the same pattern. So I'm going to, again, make the size small. And you're going to start with um, 10 double crochet in a magic circle. And how I do um, my magic circle is I grab the tail and wrap twice around my fingers and I pinch it together there and I insert my hook and grab that yarn and kind of pull up a loop just like that and so I'm just going to pull up a loop and chant through there to secure that and we're going to work 10 double crochet in this magic circle And now once you got your 10 double crochet in there, you're going to just pull the tail and tighten it up there. And you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. Slip stitch and you have a circle. So now round two is we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in eight stitches, which is going to cause this to kind of curl up and make the little bear ear. Okay, 
So then there is our little ear. You see it? There's your little ear. You're going to cut the yarn, leaving a good little tail because you're going to use that tail to sew it onto the um, cow. Just pull it through. Yeah, and then you can um, get your yarn needle and knot that and weave that in. And leave this tail on it to sew it to the cow. And I'm going to repeat this real quick and make the other ear. And I'll be up with y'all when I finish. Okay, now that I've finished my little bear ears, we can now attach them to the cow. And to attach them to the cow, it's kind of reference as how far back you want them as to where you place them. So what I tried to do is I kind of tried to line them up here. Like here's the middle. So I'll try to line them up and see kind of what stitches I want. Depends on how far if you want them at the front or you want them a little farther back. I put them um, probably, let's see how far away this is. I put them probably about an inch. It'd probably be about an inch from the edge for the size small. And then you're just going to try to line them up and see where you can get them kind of even. So like probably about right there is where we want them to go. So you're just going to... Get your yarn on your yarn needle, and you're just going to like pick up some stitches here. It's clear. I just pick up some stitches and go through that stitch. Just kind of set up and go through even across again, find some more stitches. Then find some more stitches. A bit through. I think I go through about, about three times. And then there's our little ear. And I just take it and run it back down at the bottom. And I'll knot it. And then weave the end in. And then you'll just repeat it and do it for the other ear. So. Weave this tail in and stitch on the other ear right there. So like there's one ear. And then all I'll do is I just set the other one next to it and try to line it up even and I'm gonna attach it to it and I'll catch up with y'all here in a minute and I'll show you how to make the ties. So now that I've attached both little ears, looks like we're going to make the last two pieces, which are ties. We'll make two, one for each end, and as for the ears, there are different size of ties, and I will be making this small again. So the ties are just made of pieces of yarn that I cut. I cut three strands, and I'll braid them together. Um, the extra small, the small, and the medium are just three strands braided together, but for the um, large and extra large, I'll take three strands of yarn, braid them together, and I'll do six of those and take three of them and braid them together, which makes them thicker for the larger sizes. So for the small, you just cut out three pieces of 18 inch pieces of yarn. It doesn't have to be exact. Anything close enough, so I'm just going to cut my pieces of yarn. Because you're going to trim them off anyway to make sure they're exact. So then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to line them up here even. And about four inches from the end... About four inches from the end, I'm going to knot them all three together. Like I said, it can be approximately, you know, if you want to get your ruler and be real exact, you can, as long as they're approximately about four inches. And then knot them, pull real tight. And then if you have to get something um, heavy to sit on them, to weight them down, I have a little jar here with 
some pins in it and then you're just going to braid them so if you've never braided before you have three strands of yarn take this piece fold it over take the piece from the other side and put it in the middle you gonna keep doing that take the piece from the outside on your right put it in the middle take the piece from the left put it in the middle so you're just gonna keep repeating that And you're going to continue this until you have about four inches left on the other end, and you're going to knot that also. So I will braid this, and when I get about four inches from the end, I'll show y'all then what to do. Okay, so now that I've braided it to the end here, till we got about four more inches, you're just going to take it, and you're going to knot this in also. it down to where the end of the braids are. Just pull and pull it nice and secure. So now you would repeat that for the other side. You'd repeat and make another one for your other side. We're going to do one right here. So to attach it, I just try to find the middle here on the end and I pull. I insert my hook from the um, bottom up and pull in all three of those ends but all three why does I just take them and go ahead and knot them again just knot them nice and tight and then you're just gonna take your yarn needle and you're just gonna weave those ends in so if you want to take each end and knot each end again to the cow you can So I could take that. If you're gonna go ahead and knot it again, you can. Let's say knot it, and you're just gonna weave in each one of those ends. And once you weave in all the ends and attach your other piece, you will have a finished cow. And that is how you do my little dog bear tie cow. Um, so for all y'all that like this pattern make sure and go check out my blog subscribe to my blog for more free patterns and be sure to follow me on all my social media guys bye